Hello and welcome to FSM News. I'm Dami Peters. And I'm Marquise Brown. FSM News is a product of Free Spirit Media, which is a nonprofit organization that empowers youth voice. Free Spirit Media, a partnership with the Gary Coma Youth Center, After School Matters, and the Medill School of Journalism present FSM News on Hoops High. We'll be talking a lot about image on this newscast. It's amazing how much teens let what people think influence what they do, say, or even the way they look. Do you think it's right for teens to feel bad because of their size? Personally, I don't, because judging from the other kids in my class, I'm not one of the big ones, but I'm comfortable with my size. I definitely think that people shouldn't change their size for anyone else. Knowing that I'm one of the skinniest girls in my school, I have no problem with my size. Teenagers are often swayed by how the media portrays the latest styles. FSM's Jacqueline Walker has more. Makeup, clothing, perfume, there are women advertising products all around the world. But are the people behind the making of the ads portraying a bad image? A lot of ads these days make a lot of teen girls have low self-esteem because they portray an image that is not true. Say for instance, a body image or makeup. It may be photoshopped or not really them. Black females especially, when you see a lot of the ads in there to have, you know, straight, perfect, Caucasian, European type hair, and a lot of them don't embrace their own hairstyle. Some might see skinny ads as a way to change themselves physically, but others might see it as an opportunity to make themselves a stronger person. Believe in a self-image and don't let them get you down. I was muscular and I used to get made fun of that a lot of the time and they like man and all this other stuff so I wanted to lose all my muscle mass but then when I started dancing I'm like okay it comes in it comes in handy so I'm not gonna spend my life trying to look like all these people on these magazines it's just pointless. I wish that um, I wish that people that made ads and products um, thought a little bit more about their consumer and put a, an image of a healthy um, happy um, woman out there for young girls to see and aspire to be. The next time you see an ad, try to keep in mind that everyone is unique. From FSM News, I'm Jacqueline Walker. Hey, nice color. Thanks. I'm just wearing purple because it makes me feel royal. We're going to take a short break, but we'll, we hope that you are enjoying the show so far. Coming up, there's a story about a drug and its effects and how it's becoming more popular. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Like all drugs, the effects are devastating. There's a drug that is becoming more popular among teens, despite the fact that it is highly addictive and that it destroys your body inside and out. FSM's Shamisia Davis has more. There are a lot of negative things that can happen to someone who misuses drugs. A common drug that doesn't seem to get a lot of attention is meth. This drug can have a tremendous effect on a person's life. Many teens agree that peer pressure is one of the major factors that lead to drug use. Some fall into the crowd, while others choose the better path. I just keep myself busy. I go work out, stay in the house, do whatever. I want to have a good life. Like I want to grow up, be wealthy and stuff like that. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be behind and be on the street. No matter what the reason may be for using drugs, it is a very risky situation that can determine the way people may live the rest of their lives. Some kids want to be cool, some kids want to be popular, or some kids just want to try new things in life. The consequences of using meth are deteriorating, including weight loss, confusion, mood swings, violent behavior, and severe dental problems. Over 15,000 deaths occur annually, so don't be a statistic. For FSM News, I'm Shamisia Davis. For some teens, image is everything. The way you look, the style of dress, and the number of people you surround yourself with. It's sad, but it's true, Dominique. But when thinking about your personal image, those things shouldn't matter. I think people should just be themselves. I agree. FSM's Kimani Cannon and Sterling Hill 
We'll continue this discussion about image in Teen Talk. What defines you? What makes you stand out? We wanted to know how teens felt about their image, and most importantly, a positive one. Christina Jones says that Layla Ali has a positive image. She's a strong black woman who has her priorities straight. So we went out on a search to find people with these qualities. What you could think of so far, there must be way more things that could go under good and bad. Well, that's all that came to mind at this moment, but I think we could go find something else. I think you're right. Let's make it happen. Let's get, get it. it. How would you define yourself? As being a nice, beautiful, unique person. I get my style from various people. Like, um, I don't look on TV and copy out somebody because I feel like if that person has that on, why would I want to wear it? Because it's not me. So what I really do is just go in my closet and find something that fits me. How I feel that day, I wear that color. So that's just, that's just how I get dressed every day. How do you define yourself? Um, I define myself as a uh, an avid learner, avid teacher, and uh, someone who really thinks a lot um, about where he is and where he's going. Look inside yourself, see what defines you. And be sure to hit us up on our Facebook discussion board. Search FSM News. Dominique, do you think it's hard to be an athlete and keep a positive image? It must be frustrating. There's a lot of people to please and lots of pressures that come with it. Coming up in sports, we'll hear what athletes think. We'll be right back. Man, I need some steroids. Thanks for staying with us. Whether they're in high school or in the pros, athletes often find themselves in the center of attention. And they often struggle to be seen in a positive life. Up next in sports, FSM's DeAndre Armstrong has more on athletes who recognize that they need to portray a positive image for their fans to admire. Take a look. Have you ever wondered just what it is needed to be seen as a leader or maybe even a good role model? Many high school sports players ask themselves this question all the time. They recognize that many of their peers look up to them, and some say in order to be a success and keep a good image, it's important to keep school as the main focus. I keep my grades up, and I do sports, and I do activities, and I just keep it up. If you're an athlete who has strived to be the top of your class and your team, but has gotten off track, just remember it's not too late to turn things around. There are plenty of things that can be done to get you on the path to being a great role model. If that player or whatever like really contributes himself or herself to the team and like really proactive, I think like it'll, he or she could be a great role model. Like they love the sport, they used to play with a lot of heart, they used to play with courage. Um, and off whatever they play, they should do their schoolwork, make sure they maintain their grades so they'll be able to play that sport. From FSM News, I'm DeAndre Armstrong. I hope that all the athletes watching that story got some good things out of it. The teens in the story gave some really good advice. You know, I agree with you 100%, Dominique. And even though they're in high school, they still have to portray a good image, like those in the pros such as Devin Hester. Mm -hmm. He has to make sure he has a positive image for his younger fans. And just like Devin Hester, Kobe Bryant has to keep up a very good image for all his fans, teens, children, and adults. You're exactly right, Dominique. Well, that's our show. We hope that you've taken a positive outlook on image. We'll be back next week with more news, teen talk, and sports. See, See ya. ya. So, Dominique, are you ready for the playoffs? Yes, of course.